practice that we do in the wood album. It's called slow punch. The basic idea is to help train your whole body. So in our system, we try to unite the body from the ground up. So if there's any tension, like the shoulders coming up or the leaning of the body, or not turning at the center of the body, there'll be a disconnect. And that tends to dissipate your power. So what we're trying to do is get alignment through the body. So when you push off one leg, it travels up to your waist and then is expressed through your hands, through your, through your upper body. So normally when people punch, they tend to use the shoulders a lot and the upper body. In our practice, the first stage is learning how to connect the whole body. So even though this looks like an old-fashioned method of training, which it is, it's very useful. It has been designed over a long period of time to get you to use every part of your body. So when the force is delivered with power, you're still following uh, all of the different methods of training in terms of how to coordinate your body. So there shouldn't be any difference in a sense of how your body feels even when you're releasing power, which we call fa uh, If you start tensing up, you defeat the whole purpose of the exercise. Now the slowness is, is similar to what we do in Tai Chi as well. It's a mindfulness training, an awareness training. So by going slowly, you feel what your body's doing. So over a period of time, you can notice if your elbows are sticking out, your shoulders being raised, your body's rising up and down. So gradually you're training your, your awareness. You're starting to engage mindfulness into your practice. At a certain level, this becomes a kind of relaxation. Uh, as the mind uh, concentrates and the body coordinates, you enter a certain state that's almost meditative. So that's another aspect of slow training. Traditional training, we talk about different types of power. One is called Fa Li, another one is called Fa Jing. For most people, if they start, when they start their training, it tends to be a lot more tension, so it's a kind of Fa Li. So when they use their force, their body's quite stiff and their power isn't as coordinated as, as it could be. As your training develops, your power, your body relaxes and your power is released with less tension. So, as it evolves, it goes through different stages from being uh, rigid, like more wooden, to becoming much more flexible, more like a whip, and eventually like a wave. So there are different levels or different stages in your training. When you first start, it's important again to get all the alignment right and the coordination. And remember these three things, especially the turning of the waist, so you need to link the waist. Keep your elbows and your shoulders down, that's very important. And try to relax. So you're not, you don't want to do anything like this. The more tension, the more your, your energy rises up. So relaxation helps keeping the energy down.